Soon, I'll need to have an official portrait done for Mapperton. I'm really hoping historian Dr. Serena Dyer can give me some guidance. Hi. Hello. You're who I'm looking for. Yeah. Claire mentioned you were coming. I'm Julie. Hi, Serena Dyer. Hi, Hi. so nice to meet Lovely you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, we were looking at this. Would this dress have sort of been something that somebody would have worn for a portrait? Because I was just walking up here and I was noticing all of Claire's ancestors mm -hmm. and there's so many portraits mm -hmm. around this house yeah. and I have to have my portrait done so I'm thinking as much as I would like yoga clothes to be an option I don't know if the Montague family would actually approve of that <laughs> so. well dresses like this were probably everyday dresses but if we look at some of the portrait shirt from the period we can see that they're actually more like costumes they're presenting right. themselves yes. as they want to be seen Let's go and have a look at a painting of the Delaval family here at Doddington and see what they were doing in the 18th okay, century. Great. Well, this is a portrait of the four eldest children of the Delaval family. Rhoda here is wearing a sort of pseudo shepherdess dress. This is supposed to be about her virginal unmarried status. So, this is a conceit within portraiture in the 18th century to include this sort of reference to her purity, to her innocence, the sort of trope of the 18th century virginal shepherdess. I mean, I like lambs, but not that much. But there's also this element of her personality there, of her twist on things. So she's got these lovely jewels that are hanging around the bust of her dress. She's got the pearls that are in her hair and the flowers that are in her hair. So there's something more to it. It's a really important balance to try to make that you are linking yourself to these conventions, but it's still of you and it's still your personality that's coming through. That's shining through. Yeah. So Rhoda's having it both ways. I mean, is she winking at me? I have to say, I've really learned a lot and I'm now, you know, my head is thinking at full speed of what I want to wear, maybe different elements that I want to bring in, or, you know, obviously the yoga pose, I could put a yoga mat in there, I could have a yoga block. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Not, yeah, no, I'm not know. sure that would work, but <laughs> it's still, um, I still have a, a little bit of time to think about it. But thank you, this has been, I mean, fantastic, and definitely food for thought. Yeah, I really look forward to seeing the portrait. Yeah. <laughs>